welcome to another exciting episode of Video Game Bang. Video Game Bang. Your weekly source for all things video game. Featuring your fearless hosts, Corey Vincent. I'm pretty much uh, Microsoft and Marvel. The cans are on. The issue gets real. You can get look. shot during the day. And Aaron Carter. By the armor, I equip it, and it's like pink thong. The guy that delivers vending machine items in my at my job. He can play <laughs> the right <laughs> there. Fill up your Mountain Dew and grab your Doritos. It's time for Video Game Bang. What is going on, everybody? Video Game Bang here with another episode. And yes, this is a different voice. The real David Webb here. Video Game is powered by Energy Esports. Uh, Mainframe USA, Insane in the Mainframe, Oblivion Comics and Coffee. And it is hard remembering the sponsors. Is it the chair? Joe's Crab Shack. Joe's Crab Shack. Yeah, Come for that. crabs, get some lobster. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I like it. I like it. Different show tonight, everybody. Uh, how you guys doing? I'm asking wait, you guys. Wait, which one? You gotta, you <laughs> guys? Uh, yeah. The chat? Me? <laughs> there is a chat, isn't there? Yeah. It was, it was not very structured. This is weird. <laughs> this is weird. Corey Vincent, everybody. How's it going? Hey! What's going on, everybody? How's it going? Uh, this is weird. Whoa. Okay. Uh, okay, moving I, on. I, 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 uh, it's weird for me too. Do I sound low? You no, sound. You sound uh, fine. <laughs> Just wondering. You are the worst today. Like, are, is it? Are we intentionally what making this so hard here. to run for David? That can, was my plan. I can hear. That's why I'm here, right? Perfectly yeah. fine, but I can't hear myself. Nobody. You That's don't need weird. to hear yourself. Eric Carter, hear everybody. Yourself. How's it going? How's, how's everybody doing? How's everybody going? On? <laughs> this is. This is off to a great start. And uh, crowd favorite Gondo. Hi guys. Crowd Good favorite. to be back. He is a crowd favorite. Yeah, yeah he is. Everybody yeah. loves Gondo. They Gondo, do, Adam, and Kyle. Not sure why. It's the three special cases. Oh, we got a panty raid going on in chat. Oh, snap, we do. Thank yeah. you, Ms. Oh, Monic. snap. Look at that. Look at that. Our first three-month sub right there. Uh, Dang. He has a pink thong next to his name yeah, in our does. chat. <laughs> yeah, he does. I love it. Ms. Monic got hooked up big time today on uh, Twitter. Oh, how was that? What happened? Uh, he, like many people, begged me uh, for an Energy Chrono skin, which they stopped. Uh, they don't even release it anymore. Really? So you can't get the Smite Chrono skin that has the Energy logo on it, and it's like one of the best ones they've ever made. And uh, I have like only a dozen left. And he came begging on social media, asking Jeez. me for one. And I said, I will approve it if the best Chronos player in the world approves it emilito and uh, uh, yeah, and uh, emilito like within five minutes jumped on there and was like yeah give him one <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> so good guy emilito decided to hook up nismonic i got a question so can they if they go to a different chat room will people see the pink thong no ah. the, the pink thong is just in our chat yeah. Oh, because they don't okay. want to override someone else if you're subscribing to a different channel. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes oh, I sense. guess yeah, logic, everybody. That's why Gondo's here. Yeah. That is why I'm here. Uh, so we got a very different show for everybody today. Um, I am hosting, and Aaron was supposed to do the news, but uh, like I he took a nap because he's an old man. But yeah. He took a nap. Yeah. So it's gonna be one of those uh, free form shows. That that everybody do it again. Loves. <laughs> <laughs> Could use another one. Do it again. Could use another one. <laughs> um. I mean, I could look up some news real fast. If yeah, you want to do that? Let's get started. Yeah, and uh, start it's early. yeah. Well, you do that. You look up the news. This and, is the part um, where you have a monologue. Oh no! I guess holy not. holy crap! Son of a bitch! Yeah, man, that's a lot quicker than normal. What's convenient. Yeah. What? 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 what, what the monologue kind of happened what during? Mean? That's what his wife said last night. <laughs> Should we the clap monologue? Far away? The monologue happened. <laughs> yeah. Do you monologue before sex? Is that what you do? <laughs> I'm I'm kind of like a villain. Okay. Uh, this is about to go role down, play. all right? <laughs> you play villain? <laughs> I'm going to let you know how. <laughs> it's a different villain. It's a game night. by, yeah. See, this is my master plan all along. <laughs> Are you horny? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, well, we'll start with Corey, because Corey uh, almost never goes. Uh, what you playing? I've been playing, uh, of course, Overwatch. Uh, I have been, I, I got to shoot some video content with IDDQD. Uh, for some upcoming videos for Gamer Sensei. Nice. So we spent a couple hours, and one of the videos is about uh, training drills for improving your hit scan abilities. So I spent most of the day just in the training room with McCree and Soldier 76 just practicing hit scan 
practice. So when you, ma I always wondered when you make these videos, I'm assuming it's, they're the ones that are giving the instruction. Hell so yeah. you're there as like the Washington generals and they're the Harlem Globetrotters. Uh, not even. No, that's that's no. 100% accurate. I don't even get that. <laughs> I just, I'm just in spectator mode. I don't even. He's just oh, a cameraman. Yeah. Just, <laughs> He's just, just there to get that beautiful beef. Because I was going to ask yeah. you, like, do you like try or do you intentionally like let them hit you so they can get the point across? Oh, no. There would be no point in me even like even trying to step field step foot on the battlefield with them it's just strictly cameraman esque. i basically interview them while they're doing showing me things too so we have good voiceover tracks okay. to like if i think something needs to be explained more i'll say hey go into more detail on that why does high ground matter so much yeah uh when you're in that spot on the map what uh what's the worst thing that can happen what are you expecting what's the counter to that and they'll go through and so uh, today was hit scan, and uh, I just spent a lot of time practicing, and I feel like I did not get very much better, because it's such a... So worth or not worth? Uh, I'm going to keep doing it. Like Today was only day one, okay. and uh, the season starts again tomorrow, and I'm going to try and force myself to not tank all the damn time and pick characters that actually require aim. Good luck. <sighs> you know, I think that was my issue. I played. I got too much in the habit of playing characters that used hammers. Mm -hmm. And like electricity guns, and not enough that actually use bullets. So that's like three people I'm hearing. Yeah. Two. Okay. Two. Yeah. Not even Symmetra. It's. All right. Yeah. All right. And then uh, the Destiny Two beta. Nice. Yeah. What do you think? I love it. I think it's going to be game of the year. Wow. I'm going to continue to say it. I think the game looks beautiful. I think. Uh, okay. Okay. I, I lied. It's not going to be game of the year. I just wanted to see a facial reaction from Aaron. Not happening. Nothing. Stone face. Get facial. He's somewhere. too tired still. <laughs> I wanted to get a facial, <laughs> um, but it didn't work out. So, uh, no, I think it's good enough. Cool. Yeah. That's what we're accepting. That's <laughs> what? <laughs> what, do you, what do you want? It looks good. The reaction time is imagine, fun. I did a strike. Is it going to be imagine, worth the $400? Imagine oh, that in, in other 200 Don't round up. <laughs> you're, in your, you're at the hospital, and they need to give you treatments. Eh, that's good enough. Am I going to live? Away. Am I going to live? Do I get my money's worth? That's Somebody like down on up. one knee. At Better the yet, beach do I save money with a ring in their hand? You're good enough, woman. There's plenty of games I'm out there. No, you. see, there's plenty of games out there that are good enough. Mm. Like for if full it, price, yeah. Because good enough is not full price. Good enough for yeah. Well, yeah, that's what good enough means. No, good enough. Well, there are different benchmarks of good enough. When I yeah. say good enough, there's different. different when I say good enough, good enough, it means that for the price of that game, you're getting your value. Mm. I think the game. Meets expectations. Go play Destiny One. This is not know. Destiny One though. This is Destiny Two. It's a, no, it's it's, it's Destiny a different one. game. It's Destiny One. I had the most hardcore Destiny fan, uh, literally come up to me at work, and he was like, "I man, the game is so awesome. I mean, it's Destiny One, but it, it's still a good game." And I'm like, "Yeah, it's Destiny One, dude. Okay, <laughs> cool. Live your life." Wait, what? So, so Destiny One by all means was a great game at the end of its life cycle so if it's more of that like with better graphics with more strikes with a new revamped multiplayer and all that stuff what how is that not a good thing you're getting here's the thing We've why did i buy this. destiny one yeah we but i've already been through all this gondo so it, i had to know, buy a beta <laughs> <laughs> I've already I, been it was through. a long ass beta. I've already yeah. so? <laughs> so games can be in long ass betas. Yeah. <laughs> it was a uh, Minecraft it was, a was in a long beta. <laughs> that's that's true. That's true. Well, we do have a panty raid in chat because doing it in the TARDIS is rocking his new pink thong as yeah, well. Uh, we thank you guys all for being subs. You can hit that sub button on there. Uh, Four ninety nine. You get access to all of our uh, emotes, and uh, when you hit that three month mark, you get the elusive pink thong. And uh, it actually looks really good. What if I want just the regular thing? Too bad. Can't have it. So I only do two month integrals, and then I just Did skip a stop? month. Yeah. Skip, a month. Wow. skip a month, and then come back next month. Yeah, I think so. So okay. welcome back, everybody. Got it. Got it. And I see some people in chat asking about Ivy. Uh, Ivy is in Atlanta, hot Atlanta for uh, Dragon Con. So she uh, sends her dragons. love. But she's not here with us today. Yeah, it's okay, guys. I'm so, here. Oh, we got Gando. We got Gando. All right. So, Corey, Overwatch, uh, negative 10 billion points Jeez. and plus two for Destiny. Because so, uh, you still ahead of me. Yeah. Because you got me, that plus two. Still put me in the lead by quite a bit. Uh, <laughs> I like being the one in the power to give the bogus points. Uh, Aaron, what you playing? 
nothing. Oh. I wow. uh I mean, I'm sorry guys. I just don't uh I just don't have anything uh, that I uh, that's been appealing. I've been that's playing okay. my FIFA, of course. I still uh So not appealing. You had it right the first time. Just uh doing my career mode in there. I've been writing <laughs> a lot more, you know. Waiting on FIFA 18 to actually come out. Is there a video game yet that it could at least like help you write? That's an interesting question. Scriptwriter 2017. (laughs) Scriptwriter 2017. Uh, Not for the web series I'm trying to write. A web series, but maybe for like because I, so I someone asked me, (laughs) can't even speak. It's okay. What, What genre do I write in? And I was like, I would never limit myself i'd try to do all different types oh my god um what genre is your current project my such current a, project uh, is just like a you couldn't guess, you could have answered that life. oh my god who are you you're answering these questions like you should be wearing skinny jeans oh no definitely not sipping like a little <laughs> latte thing i don't like lattes uh <laughs> Uh, it's like, mochas. I'm like, I'm a cafe slice, mochas. I'm a slice of life writer. I, I don't want to be put into a box. Like, though, um, so. I mean, you should have listening an to Nirvana. So, I mean, uh, somewhere between a Scorsese and so a, if you had, if I was like writing like a, and a my space Jacques sci-fi one, Jean I would Blay. probably play um, No Man's Sky a little bit just to kind of get me in that mood. But I don't know, man. I mean, I don't know what is games really. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I, I can't. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I, well. I, I really want to see this script you're writing now. Like before, I didn't care, but now I really care. Do you want to see? I'm expecting some super indie piece. We'll do it after the show, guys. Yeah, we'll do it after the show. So, Maybe big, we'll do a reading one day. The big uh, question is when you're dropping for Patreon. Uh, oh yeah, do a, do a reading. Oh, speaking Patreon. of Patreon, thanks, David. We recorded something special over the weekend for the patrons. So if you guys uh, liked the Game of Thrones and you want to see a breakdown of the season seven finale. Uh, we started a new podcast called Bang of Thrones. There was a um, a review. right in time Somebody... for the large hiatus. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, episode two uh, coming in 2019. Everybody, Somebody, <laughs> maybe 2020. Somebody wrote a review on, or not a review, a recap of the the last um, episode, oh. and it was probably one of the best written recaps I've ever, you know. And it was from like Black Nerd people or something like that com or something like that blacknerdpeople.com it literally was like some <laughs> okay. some like sideways website that i've never really heard of it's sideways. run by black nerd, <laughs> black nerd so people. i was like this is actually very good and it was hilarious it was extremely long but it was hilarious like all the way through it and broke records it had like what was it like just like 12 point something million people tuned oh the in. episode yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it was Needless to say, it satisfied a lot of uh, fans, um, I guess, wants. Yeah. I, I, you know, satisfied Jon Snow's wants. I differed, I differed on that, definitely. And I even had a coworker come up to me. She was like, weren't you excited? For-? I was like, what? no, what, wasn't excited for that part. If you guys want to get our full review and yeah. recap, it was a full hour episode that we did only on Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash video game bang. You only have to be a dollar patron, too. Yep. There you go. Gondo. What you playing? Slime Rancher. <laughs> Do you just ranch slime? Yeah. Oh. You're just on this alien planet. There's a bunch of like different species of slime. And then you like own a farm where you need to go collect them in the world. And then you put them in pens. And then they like shit out little crystals that you exchange <laughs> for money. <laughs> Who is are this, you? Is this a mobile game? Like No, no. no. This thing has 10 I'm out of 10 it on, on Steam. Xbox. It's yeah. Steam. <laughs> it's, it's good. 4.6 out of 5 on, it's good. on uh, Is there space Xbox. travel? Uh, no. It's no. just it's just the one map. Like The one map. Okay. Yeah, it's, How big is the map? It's decent size. Skyrim? No. No, no. It's not that expensive. Um, but like I was doing it, like at first I started, I was just like learning the mechanics of the game and like I captured a few slimes. And then like there's a large platforming exploration section too where you go and figure out where the, all the rest of the map is. You have to unlock regions. So I did that for a while. And now I've unlocked like all the different slime types. Holy shit! This game looks super interesting. What it's is, really cool. What does each slime type do? Like, does it give you? Does any... it shit different crystals? Yeah. Yeah, they all have different crystals, which are worth different uh, corresponding gold values. And then some of them are more difficult to to manage than others because there's like a firefly one that um, will disappear during the sun when the sun's out. So when you have Fox to get like in. a special um, upgrade for your pen if you're going to put them in a pen. 
This should be in No Man's Sky. <laughs> I was just saying, yeah. it kind of sounds like in No Man's Sky. This might make this No Man's Sky. Better than put, No Man's Sky. There's can a lot put, of things that should be in No Man's Sky. Can you put different is... slimes together or where they fight each other? So, yes, you can. Um, okay. There's a mechanic where you can merge any two slimes okay. to make something that produces both of their crystals. But if you ever merge three slimes, they become this like Maybe monster slime. thing that eats everything. <laughs> I feel like this sentence is going to be like, but if you merge three slimes, <laughs> then you have a slime apocalypse. It's basically, yeah. Because <laughs> if that ever happens, farmer. the thing will eat all of your, <laughs> eat all the other slimes around it. Shit. Slime farmer? Slime rancher. Slime rancher. Slime, oh. Yeah. Excuse God, me. Aaron. Come on. Yeah. Slime with Farmer gold, is Xbox. the cheap knockoff. It's free, man. So it's free right uh, now. So yeah, I, it I was anyway. I'm not sure if it still is. Oh, I remember this game. It's pretty fun. Yeah, I remember this game. Wait, you remember it? Yeah, yeah. I remember seeing the trailer for it and thinking it did look interesting. There's a trailer for it? A while back, yeah. How old is this game? It's not that old. I think it was in beta for a while and then it just <laughs> came out recently. It's like Destiny? Uh, according to yeah, this, yeah, it says August 1st, 2017, so it's not that old. No, yeah. It was in beta for a while before that, but okay. yeah, it's fun. Damn, nice. it's really yeah. cute too. I mean, that's what I look for—cute games. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> what you been playing with? Uh, Destiny, Destiny Two. And you um, heard what I thought. What do you think? I I really like it. It does look a lot similar to Destiny One. Um, there's something different about it. It feels maybe just more polished. I can't put a finger on it. What? There's like an X like, factor. Like they learned you from know, the beta s- and. And actually went into full release. God, I need to learn how to mute things a lot oh, quicker. That's what the little flick switches. The little flick, yeah, yeah those, those make so much noise though. Yeah. Um, I just yell loud enough so another mic can hear me. That's true. You played a beta. There you go. I did Destiny Two beta. Um, yeah, so I played the Destiny campaign, 1. 5 beta. and uh, Corey and I, along with uh, Ivy and Aaron. Not you, Aaron. Other Aaron okay, played uh, <laughs> played the Destiny Two beta at E3, and uh, the one in the beta now is like more expanded. It's like the entire first campaign. What? God damn it, Aaron! It's... So, do you think that's half the game? Yeah, it's about half the game. I wouldn't doubt uh, it. No, it was. I was glad you that there was more to for it. The rest of the game. <laughs> and uh, you guys. But no, are this is why they worse. did it this way, guys. Did you decide whether you're going to get it on PC or console yet? I think I'm going to get it on PC because I thought about it. The whole point of me getting it on console would be if I knew people that were going to be getting it on console that I'd play with. Nobody's going to play it on anything. Everybody that I know that has PlayStation, uh, Aaron, Steven, they're not going to get it. So I'm probably not going to play Steven's with them. because Steven's just Aaron Jr. It's, it's true. It's 100% true. That's 100%. <laughs> if that were yeah. true, he wouldn't, be playing, nickname. he wouldn't be playing uh, religiously World of Warcraft right now. Well, he's in bad company. Well, you gotta, yes, he's playing all of that. You gotta like, bring him back to the light. He is hip deep in that with everybody else. Wait, what's he playing? World of World Warcraft. Warcraft. Oh, well, it's, all it's because back you're, in. your daddy and Adam's mommy. So if you, one of you guys aren't doing it, he's not doing it. Sure, you got that right. Well, one of them's daddy, one of them's mommy. Okay. Maybe somebody, you're both mommy. Somebody, somebody Twitch clip know. Corey calling Aaron daddy. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. Oh, I felt weird. <laughs> Um, no, but I like it. So I think I'm going to play it on a uh, PC because I played on the quick play. Uh, what's it, Crucible? Uh-huh. I did a lot better on the PC than I ever did on the um, on the controller. Really? So, First yeah. First person shooter on mouse and keyboard. You are the worst. Yeah, the controls. That's, are you bags? That's almost. You sound uh, like bags so much. That's almost, Somebody had to fill the void. <laughs> gross. He Those, is the void. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I am the void. God. <laughs> oh my god, these transitions are what's, on par. What's going on now? <laughs> Someone yeah. at the door, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Did we just solve the murder? <laughs> <laughs> Segways were never my strong suit. You know that. They're not. Corey's Corey's here. Here. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> It's fun, man. Stop it's fun. Distracting people from the song. No, oh, trust me. I'm doing them a favor. Bang, I don't bang. think I'm a uh, slime rancher, everybody. It's you a uh, video game being brought to you by Twitter Slime Rancher. Yeah, that's we need it, to get man. I wonder if there's a video game that will sponsor. You the, never uh, know what questions are asked video on Brain Bang. Video, video game, game company. We want to know what's on your mind. Can't think of anything. Can't think of one. Ubisoft. Make you want to dab air? I would say, uh, brain bang. Like no, like, maybe to lose my damn mind. Have you, have you, have you, have you ever dabbed air? No. Never? Thing. Even in private? No. 
Oh, you talking about the dance dab? Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. My last song, song, song. No, <laughs> <laughs> like, no yeah. even in private? Real even, dab. Yeah. It but made it's, me see, realize remember I told you when it died? When the mic needed to start doing it? Yeah. yeah so it, Have you done it, though, ever? I, yeah. You did do it? Did we ask questions. No one twitched for that? Then you answer. And it wasn't me. Can we all do it at the same time? No. I don't know what that is. Is your character black? No, no. Yeah, everyone's character is the same. Oh! On the game bang! There's no customization. <laughs> That's a game I can get behind. That is the Brang Bang song brought to you that by. Was so long. Uh, Why did you do that? <laughs> Thank you. Thank uh, you. I can't believe that was still going. Yeah, it was still going. Yeah, a whole conversation. That was a whole show. That was a whole During show. The Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, <laughs> We'll see you next uh, week. Corey, you said that we have a brain bang brought to us by NRG. Yeah. Were you expecting me to read it? Yeah. That was that was the plan, yeah. I, I thought you were going to just go to the Twitter and then bring it up. I guess that would be smart. I could do that. No, I've already, I'm already pretty much done it. I'm almost wow. there. Uh, oh, yeah. The question was, uh, what are you doing today? <laughs> What? No, it wasn't. Yeah, what? that was <laughs> that was the question. I All right, so that was the video game brain yeah. bang. No, I wanted and, to know. Uh, I wanted to know. That was a theme song longer than the question. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Wednesday morning. I was wanting to know, you know, what's everyone doing out in the world? And the, the what's at the comic shop? <laughs> Things shorter than the brain bang theme song. Yeah, the brain bang. The uh, <laughs> the what you want to call it? I know some people do um, like when they do questions like that. Be like, all right, what's everybody angry about today? Yeah, and then it let people vent. Just that's vent. a good idea. Yeah, there you go. You can have that one. For I free. gave people some <laughs> options though. I said the Destiny Two beta. Uh, so you gave them no option. Overwatch, the new deathmatch mode. Uh, <laughs> the one reasonable answer: work and or school. Hmm. <laughs> and uh, other was the other one. I'm feeling other may have won. Uh, you would be wrong. As In usual, last place. Destiny 2 beta. <laughs> no, that, that makes with, sense. With two votes? No, hang on, hang on. Hang on. It was <laughs> day one. <laughs> it was day one yeah. of the beta. That's really? when the most hype is out. What yeah, are you talking about? exactly. Yeah, it's kind of not helping us. Damn. Um, Just waiting for the, to hit the internet, everybody. <laughs> yeah. There's a two-way tie for third place between uh, Overwatch Deathmatch and Other. Mm. <laughs> Have you tried the Deathmatch Did match they mode? expand on I what the Other the was? I haven't yet, no. They did. Uh, a lot of... Rando stuff. I mean, I threw an open-ended question out there. You, so. you did. Splatoon two. Someone was playing. Uh, yeah, someone's doing their Splatoon. chores. Okay. Uh, they, they Responsible. Said, yeah. Uh, someone. Uh, his name is uh, B O T A sixty four. Says I just finished the original Gears of War campaign. There you go. Gears you one. Okay. Better okay. late than never. Good on you. Twenty yeah. years too late, but it's ahead of me. I whatever. mean, it's not. It's not like it's a world changing. So. I think he's okay. Well, what if he world. came out like, oh my god, guys, have you ever played this game? Gears of War. <laughs> Gears of to, what? He's gonna go to work. I just beat this <laughs> hey, game. Hey, you turkey burglars, guess what I just did? <laughs> we gotta Fix get ready for cooler. E-Day, guys. <laughs> <laughs> There's a two? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my lucky star. Um, you know, a lot of questions. Uh, a lot of people have Rocket League, PUBG. A lot of people out there are adulting. Um, some WoW. I guess there was a new patch. Uh, someone was playing a lot of lawbreakers out there. Richard Simmons is still alive. Sorry, That's yeah, he's still alive and well. Actually, I heard he went missing. That's probably why I was like. There was still an entire alive. podcast dedicated to uh, him missing? finding him. Yeah, oh, all right. Yeah, you were there, and we did a whole podcast Trust on. Trust me, there was never a podcast that I was on about Richard Simmons. With uh, 44% of the votes, work and or school. There you go. So yeah. Destiny I mean, came in a lot of responsible people after work and or school. Yeah, everything yes. comes after work and or school. It's really disappointing. I mean, it is a Wednesday, so, yeah. All right. But I I did play a lot of Deathmatch. I, I think it's a really cool format for Overwatch. If for nothing else, like, after I spent, after I was running those drills on uh, trying to in- increase my hit scan, uh, it's, like, the perfect place to go in there and have practical, like, an assessment of where you're at. Cause so they finally ultimate. added an actual Deathmatch mode. Yeah, free-for-all. Yeah. How does that work for... Oh, I guess it's free for all, so you don't have healers. I've seen battle mercies, just oh yeah, because it's fun. Okay. They'll the just new mercy. mercy, and they'll just go in there and just start blasting. You, okay. you pick whatever character you want. Uh, it doesn't matter if someone else picks it. Okay, and it's uh, the new map is amazing. It's like I was wondering how it works with like resurrects, but I guess if it's free for all, you don't worry about that. No, yeah, no. You resurrect yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but heroes never die. It, it was like 
it wasn't like you know how you go into quick play sometimes and even though it doesn't count you still kind of get mad whenever you have an awful team comp yeah even if it's just for practice even if it's just practice yeah I get that because you can't have good practice that way still like because you just get it's not an accurate yeah. representation yeah with this you just choose the character you want to get better with you just go in there and really I did not care if I was getting slaughtered it was more just like I wanted to go 1v1 with a bunch of people in rapid succession without a, like the other 1v1 modes yeah you know they show you like three minutes worth of title screens Reinhardt versus Reinhardt oh yeah you play then loading screen into the right. next one this is just f- pure free for all mindless shooting action Call of Duty-esque where you don't even really think you just go in there and start blasting so when you die do you uh, have to wait until the whole match is nope. over you just nope. bounce right back in. You bounce right back in. The spawn time, you don't even have to watch your kill cam. You just kick right back in, hit the space bar, and you're back rolling. Can so you it's choose a sandbox your... mode. Pretty kind much. First person, 20 mood. wins. That's all that really matters. Then there's okay. a 4v4. In the uh, which popular I uh, characters busting out of the gate. <laughs> Doomfist. Tons of Doomfist. And he's a bastard. But it's getting me better at dealing with Doomfists. Because you get stuck in a room with like four of them, and you start learning some tricks. Yikes. Yeah, there you go. Like, what you do. Like with uh, like with Reaper, I was losing every one v one with the Doomfist, mm-hmm. and then pretty soon you start timing him when he's about to charge you. Go Wraith mode, he b- punches through you, and then just blast him. It was like super simple, or using corners to evade him. So he's kind of getting more predictable. Work the angles. Yeah, you gotta work them angles. Mm. Um, can you change your character? Yeah, yeah. Change your character in the middle. That would suck if you could not. Yeah, that would suck. I was intentionally just to. Ch- push myself going McCree even because he's like the most like you have to land your shots or you're dead right so I was just picking him mostly and just living or dying by whether I could land headshots and most of the time I was dying <laughs> but you give it your best yeah Come on, the the little now. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Thanks for coming out, everybody. Uh, <laughs> and now we all demon. join in a song yeah. together. Aaron's telling the news. What key are you in? G. Oh, it was a G. Flat. No, no, it was flat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not a lot of news today, though, people, because uh, I didn't look it up quick enough. <laughs> <laughs> you were just what watching you, Slime what, Rancher what over here. This whole damn time. <laughs> watching watching slime, slime Rancher. Rancher. Not gonna lie, watching Slime Rancher. Nintendo is killing the Miiverse in Japan, everybody. Uh, if you have a Mi and he's uh, walking around a little Miiverse in Japan only, of, of course, then uh, he's gonna get killed off. Uh, it's only been around for about two years. Um, and it made me think of, do you remember that thing on the PlayStation 3 PS Home? Yeah. How that I when I saw the trailer for people, that are those people still out there? They probably still are. There's probably a couple of them still working on their apartment. Damn. You know? But I uh, I remember seeing that trailer for that. Uh, do you remember the me or the what you call it? Vaguely, yeah. I thought that was the next step in online gaming. Yeah. I was like, this is where it's gonna go. Watered Everybody's... down Second Life. Yeah. I was and like, then, and you then can, it disappeared. Because you can just join games from there. Like you know, it was like a chat room. Invite yeah. people over to your virtual house. Yeah. So yeah. You can party up. Yeah. Go into the theater room so you can watch a movie. Or just go and play a game together. Like, you. oh, we all have Call of Duty? Everybody at my crib. Everybody hop into the minivan so we can drive to this game. Yeah. <laughs> play a game to get to a game. I thought that was the most useless part of GTA Five was the whole apartment thing. But I thought there was so much potential there. It is. I, I played GTA Five like, two weeks ago with a friend. And she came into my apartment. And it was literally just like, we're standing there like, okay, so... So uh, you want to hit that bong again? Yeah. To, <laughs> to, to make the screen turn green? You got fruit over there. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> <got pulled> over <laughs> there. Did they ever add that um, the heist thing where you actually use your apartment to plan the heist? Yes. Okay. Everybody has a heist room now and you can uh, set up. So I, I haven't played, played that in a long time. I played a heist too whenever I got back on and they made me the pilot in one of the heists. So you crashed instantly. And they No. they I didn't know what my <laughs> kind of mission was. But they were only paying me like ten percent, right? Okay. And I was like, whatever. For being just... the pilot? Yeah. But see, I didn't know what I had to do, right? So I was like, if I'm the pilot, all I'm doing is just flying them there and back. No, I had to go steal the airplane and outrun and uh, jets for two minutes yep. while they were doing whatever to they get were doing away. on the ground. 
Then I had to pick them up at an air uh, at the runway, which was bombarded with cops everywhere. <laughs> I barely make it to the sky where I was smoking and everything like that. And then they send helicopters out <laughs> after us. So I'm dodging helicopters and I make it. And everybody in the chat, I can hear them through the TV, and they're like, "Dude, you did a good job. Cool, yeah, cool." Ten percent still. I was like, "That's it." <laughs> I just saved you people. So you can't tip your Uber driver? No, you can't. <laughs> you cannot. And I was like, this is, I was like, I'll never do that mission again and be, be the the what you call it because that, that was the worst part. And then for I the thought money, that game had a mechanic where you could like, like you could Joker people and like kill them and take their cut. I don't think in the heist mode. No, maybe in some other mode. Oh. There's a whole bunch of different like it's definitely like they just announced the smugglers run now and they've uh, put a whole bunch of new vehicles in there. Uh, they have an airplane that can actually drop bombs um, on you know the ground and everything like that. Um, Grand Theft Auto has been like killing it with DLC. They supported the shit out of that game for a long time. They had the Sons of Anarchy DLC. I like. got my, I have my own clubhouse, and what's dope about it is you can have, of course, your friends be in your club, but there's pictures on the wall that are your mug shots, like Sons of Anarchy. Right. So when you're the like when you're a part of the club, your picture goes up on the wall of your character. That's awesome. And I was like, this is, this is really dope. God damn. Gemma is my bartender. Really? Le- well, she looks lo- just Oh, literally. yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the character model. Yeah, looks yeah. just like Gemma up there. And then every time I walk in, what's up, president? And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the you video game bank doing. logo is on our uh, table uh, for the... Uh, oh, you can even put your yep. logo on? Oh, my God. Yeah, it, they, they did a very good job. Very, I don't remember how we got the VGB logo in onto the PS4. I did. How did we? I did it. Oh, you just made it. Yeah, you made it through their little. Uh, they had like a app on through the website. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I when I transferred my character, transferred the logo as well. So I have it now, and it's on everything in our clubhouse. And I was like, that's that's freaking sick. Yeah. We have only got like three members though. Yeah, you know. <laughs> it's like Jerry and a friend of mine, Irie. Like, all right. It's pretty weak. Yeah, I mean, nobody's playing on the PS4. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, yeah, I have it on the PC. I have it on the PC too. Yeah. You want to come over to the Overwatch deathmatch modes are live, everybody. Yeah, yeah. I think we yeah. talked about that. It's fine. Do we? So, uh, what's sure. the what's Overwatch death mode like? Uh, death mode. You die a lot. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. That's pretty pretty accurate. <laughs> Player unknown uh, battlegrounds knocks <laughs> Dota two off of the Steam throne. That's really actually very that big news. Really. Dota number 2 one, is number one. Number I mean, one more, viewed. More people are playing it? Yeah. Uh, more concurrent only players. Only temporarily, but it's still a big upset, it says. Wait, wait, this is Twitch, so you said, right? So no, 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 no. Steam. Oh, Steam. Steam. Yeah. Oh, Steam, Steam, Steam. Steam. Okay. So. Most concurrent. Uh, with simultaneous uh, players playing at the same time. 877,844 uh, people were on Battlegrounds fighting at once. Holy crap. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That, that's... that's uh, that's a lot of people. You know what I heard, too, addictive. is that it's taking a lot of people away from CSGO. Really? A lot of I ca- believe that. A lot of Counter-Strike players who aren't, like, on pro teams or top-tier esports guys. Yeah. They're having more fun, and if they're streaming, the numbers streaming PUBG are way better than mm-hmm. streaming Counter-Strike. So there's, like, this huge, like, I don't know, middle portion of the CSGO community uh, just switching over to PUBG. I wonder yeah. how, why did it get bigger when there are other games that do it? There's like only that. what? What's the other game that does it? H one Hizzy. I thought that one. I thought the two that were like that, like the H one Z one. I can't tell you why, because they A-Z. are basically the same game. Yeah. Uh, I've played King of the Kill, from I, I bought them both, and I played one for a week, and then I played PUBG for a week. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I guess I think I I, I play PUBG because most people I know play it, and H one Z one was buggier still. Oh, okay. It's still in beta, though, guys. You got to give it a They're chance. They're both. They're going to be. You got to give it a. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. In, you got to. Paid 20 bucks when for that. H1Z12 comes out, you're going to love it. Gonna... H2Z2? Yeah. It's H2Z2, <laughs> yes. It's a, it's a uh, 10 year title. <laughs> yeah, it's a 10 year. T- that's what the so developers gonna... say. <laughs> uh, but it only knocked it off for a short while. Dota um, is still killed, uh, held a you know strong second place. And you got Counter Strike there with um, third. Grand Theft Auto V, surprisingly, with freaking fourth place and then hizzy hitting the uh the old fifth spot there what else we got just go through the uh tom clancy right after that well the top 10 rainbow six siege yeah siege siege is pretty cool team fortress 2 still doing good numbers uh football manager 2017 
I don't know what that means. Really? Fantasy football? No, no, nope. no, no. This is uh, soccer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Um, so fantasy football. Okay. Uh, got, it. got it. Basically, yeah. <gasps> Path of Exile and then Warframe. Warframe is, I think, a game slept on by this crew here. We played it. What are you talking about slept on? Do we play it currently? You and I played No. All right, then. It's slept still installed. <laughs> we, slept on. We could play on. We could Napped play on. Yeah. Napped on. It's it was napped on because we played it for a, a while. There's still a chance. It be a space ninja. It was, yeah, it's dope. You're a space ninja. And then the little flying um, missions are even doper. I think what killed it is the real time waiting for your gear. Like, you can build, like, oh, I want to build this sword. All right, it'll be two days. I felt like it was kind of, like, that part of it was kind of confusing, too. Like, the part of just, it was turning me off to it. Yeah. It was like, oh, this sword is awesome. Look at the stats. Oh, three days. Yeah. Right. I, don't know I gotta order the for. parts. <laughs> yeah. I gotta warm up the forge. Yeah. Come on, man. I was online with Jared. He was like, "I better, I bet you all your uh, your weapons are ready by now, right?" <laughs> I was like, yeah. you, you come back. You're Probably. like this legendary. They're all player. outdated too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all outdated. And so, uh, I mean, it was a cool game. You could build your own little dojo, so everybody can go. Oh and... yeah, we have a dojo, don't we? Yeah, we do. Do you get to plan a heist room. from there too? We gotta no. go. We, let's go back to that. I'm down. I'm down. I got nothing else to play. Uh. Going back to PUBG taking away CSGO players, do you think that that's going to see the end of CSGO? Like, no. Do you think it's the beginning no. of the end? Down. No. Yeah. It's dead. Or no. you, it's do you dead. think it's just going to be like a change of guard? Like, no, because it, I think people will bounce back and forth, honestly. Really? I think, yeah. I think there's still tons of interest in people with CSGO. What are there's, you talking about? There's too much money at the top for yeah, it to not be interesting. The, that's the thing. When money's involved, yeah. Money yeah, at the top. right now there's like no money in, in PUBG rather than, you know, besides whatever you make in stream. They just held their first official tournament at Gamescom in Germany. Mm-hmm. And they have a lot to figure out as far as the viewing experience goes. Because like I, I dealt with this firsthand when we ran Energy Game Night. There's well, 100 yeah. people. How do you pick who to view? Exactly. You just kind of pick the biggest personalities. And right now, the people dominating the game are the big streamers. Like, they're the ones getting the invitations to the Mm -hmm. big events because more people will care and watch. they bring in the viewers. Yeah. Yeah, and they have, like, an actual competitive, like, qualifier. And they'll let, like, the first place squad go into that. Mm -hmm. But they give them, like, no time. You know, they're kind of just there. So there's this kind of a weird thing where they're using the big stars to build the game but there's really skilled people out there who aren't quite getting the recognition yet um yeah i don't i don't think it's something you can do live i think if you want to do it right you have to film it from like probably like 20 different perspectives and then be able to stitch it together in post so then just do the delay thing but that's it's a lot of work because then you have to be able. If the like, NBA can cut I need to know. I need to know the ending though, so I can kind of stitch it together with the right story if, in line. If the NBA can cut up highlights together in a commercial break and then come back and show you, yeah, PUBG. Then yeah, they can do that. They just got to get more skilled uh, technicians. I don't there. know. Is there any sport out there right now that has like? <laughs> hundred people on the field. Yeah, hundred I mean, people all playing for the same one goal. Yeah, exactly. Like I guess. In the NFL, there's a lot of people, but they're all in like one camera view. Yeah, it's, it's not the same. Yeah, yeah no, that's yeah. The battleground is. Yeah, I do like how in the spectator mode, like uh, during the energy, the game night, how you were able to go to the map and then look on the map and see where the most action was, and then zoom in on that. Yeah, that like, was cool. We just kind of learned over time that if you pull up the the mini map, you can kind of see where oh shit, this squad's heading towards this squad. So then mm-hmm. you cut into there and you kind of have an idea, but still, who knows what else you're missing once yeah. you're actually focusing on the story. Yeah, you need line. to you need to have that open all the time as like a mini map, so that you can see kind of what's going on and then like click over to other screens. The, is, o- the ultimate viewer experience would be something like that, yeah. where if they have some sort of game client where the viewer can pick who they want to watch. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Or be yeah. like the Hunger Games. That really would be like the Hunger Games because in the Hunger Games you can do that. Yeah, I think that's. The, and it'd be the, cool if they like if they did implement like on the Hunger Games where you can like in a tournament you can be like oh I want this player to win and maybe like you oh, like, drop care package drop a shit. care package or something to them. It would be kind of tough because like, I mean then whatever you're watching likely won't be in sync with what the casters are saying. So. It's true. It may be just you're just listening to their comms to hear how they communicate. Which yeah, I find super interesting. Anyways, like I yeah. love when they're playing Smite and they're like, "Let's listen to Team Dignitas," and they'll cut over to them and you hear them like all frantically screaming at each other. I wish they would do that more live. 
Yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. I uh, I don't know how people stream PUBG. Like when I play PUBG, I need everything quiet. Like I tried to play it one time when I was on Discord with Aaron and Mofruit. I was like, guys, shut up, shut up, shut up. And I like sat there and I listened. Never mind, we're good. It's fine. Because I thought I heard like gunfire <laughs> close to me. <laughs> I need everything silent. So having like paying attention to chat and then having like just having so much going on, I need complete silence so I can hear. Well, your first mistake was being in a room with Aaron. Discord. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. I'm yeah. sorry. What is Discord for? Isn't this worth talking? Yeah. That's that's his right. first mistake, though. If he's streaming and stuff, he can't. No, it wasn't streaming. I was okay. just playing. Okay. Yeah. What else we got, Aaron? Uh, Destiny 2 comes out October. <laughs> You're just rehashing everything we've already done, man. No, 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 no. This, trust me. This is, this is a story. Uh, Destiny 2 comes out, uh, where was that? October... 24th, right? For PC. Mm -hmm. And they've already uh, got little details on the first DLC, which comes out in December. Awesome. Uh, is it? Oh, wait, hang on. Is it a season pass or is it an individual DLC thing? It's not saying There's that. There's a now. season pass. It says, it's, it's just saying. There's going to be three of them. Don't worry. I'm going to wait. Th this time I'm <laughs> waiting. I learned. <laughs> this time I'm waiting because if I buy another season pass and it's the same level, it's just backwards, I'm going to be pissed. I just don't understand why it's coming out so early. Um. Well, because I did you, think did you see it's coming out. One? Yeah, no, I did. But I thought this was where we learned from our mistakes. No, isn't PC? No, they learned from their success. Oh, look at how much money they made. Yes, <laughs> full fools once. The shame on them. Full fools twice. Hey, we'll make more money. It doesn't the matter. Game comes out on consoles sooner. Oh, game. Well, it comes well, out in September, and then I think PC oh, is October we release. Added another month. And okay, to it make makes it, it all better, yeah, to okay. make it like exclusive. well, see, Aaron, PCs are more complicated than consoles, okay, so because there's more to them, you know, what's complicated, you can't just slap a game together and throw you know, what's it on complicated there. Complicated is as why people are buying this BS, that's what's complicated, and that's really not complicated, actually, because it's a fun game, Aaron. Stop it, <laughs> stop your whore mouth right now. You say horn mouth or whore mouth, both, or both. Yes, both. Both. Said both, 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 both. Uh, DLC looks like to be uh, have something to do with somebody named uh, Wizard Osiris, Space Wizard Osiris. Anybody know about that? Uh, uh, no, Egypt? but that's my new that gamer awesome. tag. Yeah, you know <laughs> Space <laughs> Wizard Osiris. Yeah. It's my new gamer tag, everybody. Um, looks like it'll be focused on saving Osiris, a character we've uh, never seen in the game, uh, but it's been talked about throughout the lore, which you had to read online if you were uh, playing part one because they didn't put it in the game for some reason. Like really? everybody else like in really? the universe. Yeah. Uh, well, you had the Trials of Osiris. They didn't even have like a wiki or something in game that you could read. No, no. they had a wiki what? You, online. You would this unlock like a link that you can click. Wait, and you unlocked a, a link to go to uh, <laughs> to a website. This is bad. This is very bad. Is it though? But listen, they learned, and now oh in Destiny gosh. Two, the lore will be in the game. It will be. Now Who would have known putting it outside of the game would have been a bad idea? They tried until something until they try it. I feel like everybody would have known. I think that. like everybody they, feels you, like you don't know until you try. You miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Boom, nailed it. They no, shouldn't have taken this one. Shouldn't have taken this. You one. know one thing I, off the top of my head, the one thing that I do like that's not in there anymore is now when you want to go from point A to point B, you don't have to go to orbit. Wait for the loading screen to go into orbit. Make you fast travel now? You Kind of. I mean, you just open up the map and you say, I want to go, I'm on Earth, I want to go to Venus. And then you just open up the map, click on Venus, and then it takes you, it's like one continuous loading screen. And it opens up a link. Into Venus. <laughs> it opens <laughs> you up. Have to go, you, you have, have to, to find get, the lore of Venus <laughs> on the wiki. <laughs> you read a little bit. And then first. you have to put together the first letter of every paragraph yeah. in order to get the password. Yeah. It's not cement. It's not, um, what's your name? A joke died because I can't remember his name. Dead. Next, what's the uh, so what's the story said. going on with the guy from Deadpool dropping out of a movie because he has white shame or white guilt? I, what, what's he happening? He doesn't have white guilt. Actually, I don't even know if he Ryan is white. Seacrest? He looks tan, so he could be something else. He's pretty pasty. Okay. What, what 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 movie? I guess he was going to play. Was Hellboy. he going to play an Asian character? Yeah, Ooh. it's like an Asian American. He's not like a hundred percent Asian, and he's got like a giant scar on his face too. I don't know that. So he doesn't want to whitewash the series so, so he, yeah. yeah with with all the heat on them or on on the whole whitewashing thing which i'm kind of on the fence back and forth uh, about it um his name is ed screen 
Scrying, whatever. Oh, he so he played uh, the guy Ajax. from Deadpool. Yeah. No, what was his real name? Francis. 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 Which they whitewashed that as well. I mean, everybody That's knows true. he was um, a Latino. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but he backed out. He said, "No, nope, not gonna do it." Everybody is uh, talking about how whitewashing is uh, is bad, man. It's bad. So let me uh, let me back out. But I mean, was that the right move? For money wise, no. I would have took that job and played an Asian. But uh, <laughs> you can say whatever you want. Uh, you ain't in my shoes. You Look at it from the bills. different making that money from yeah. the different perspectives. Uh, what? How do you think this is? Do you think more people should be doing what he did, or do you think? I think it depends on the character. I think it definitely depends on the character. But I okay, it's a Hellboy character, so I don't think anybody Nobody knows gives a Nobody, shit. They know yeah. Abe Sapien and Hellboy. Yeah, and maybe his girlfriend. Maybe his girlfriend, who's not even his girlfriend in the comic books. So, so no, they don't know her. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, no. Well, I mean, are we saying they're whitewashing uh, Hellboy because they only pick white actors for him? Yeah, I bet red people all over the place yeah. are pissed. Whoa! Wow, that's. Well, uh, they don't like red people no more. Whoa! What are we calling? Uh, you gotta be careful with that. Yeah. One. yeah. What, what, careful are with that one. what are we calling? What are we calling? What do they call now? What are you gonna say? We're gonna move it. So, Screen. <laughs> Keep going. Screen. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Uh, it's okay. Just roll through it. You gotta get away from that topic really quick. I I want to know. <laughs> is there want, a giant red community that's gonna come after us? Besides after communists, you maybe. Well, Native Americans have kind of been called. That's racist, dude. That's they have been called can't. red. Those that's not there's red people. A, there's literally a football team. Oh, oh, the Redskins! <laughs> this is this is why we have to keep moving. <laughs> oh, well, I could do. It. I'm like, a, I got Indian in me somewhere. Just stop. Yeah. No, just stop. Yeah, wow. Yeah, sure. just, moving on. Ed Screen. Um, what would he scream? If about? I had, if I had advice for him, because um, he's done what he's done already, and I bet you it's probably gonna. Uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Reverber- reverberate through Hollywood, yep. and other film or uh, casting directors are gonna be like, well, we can't really. We like his acting, but we can't pick him for, you know, this Chow Yun Fat role because, the, he's, because he's a white guy. And he's going to say no. I think that it will limit his, the offers he gets yeah. from Hollywood, but I don't know if it will make him like a black sheep. No, I don't Hollywood. think it'll make him a black sheep. Okay. Yeah. I don't think it'll make him a black sheep. But but there'll be some other dude that's like, yeah, I'll do oh, it. Yeah, hands down there's going to be some other some Well, other guy. because of this, though, there's going to be a lot more publicity around it. And so when they make their decision, they'll have to be very careful about it. No, they yeah. won't. If they pick another white dude, what do you think is going to happen? They're going to pick another white dude. Yeah. Um, you think so? Yeah, yeah I have a casting call why? tomorrow. Why, why do they care? No, so there's going to be there's gonna be too much scrutiny. I mean, yeah. They'd have to wait a year. Oh, no, I meant for another movie. Oh, for another movie, yeah, sure. Yeah. But this movie this in particular, movie, Yeah, no. this movie's already got the heat on it, so it's not going to do it. <laughs> okay. But, but whenever they... Whatever ethnic character that they have in another movie, they're going to pick another. It, and it's just going to happen. I mean... So, like, the other thing that they were talking about, whitewashing, quote-unquote, was this new Death Note uh, movie. Oh, yeah. I haven't watched it, but the trailer looked terrible. Isn't it a movie? I thought it was a show. It's a movie. It's a movie. Oh, it is yeah, a movie. Yeah, it's okay. like a hour 40 or whatever. Hands down, I don't feel like it's whitewashed at all. Did you watch it? No. I didn't did watch you, it. <laughs> did you watch or read the original? Yes. You didn't play Destiny okay. 2 this either, people. Why, Keep that in mind. Yeah, that's true. This is why I don't <laughs> think it's whitewashed. Because, one, they've already come out with the movie before in Japan. Full Japanese cast, uh-huh. multiple movies actually. There's okay, like yeah. six of them. Okay, keep uh, going to your point. Two, the movie is set in America, and it's set in like Seattle, like that's what it is. So they're just taking the story and the concept of Death Note. Didn't I see the London Eye in it? No, it's in which one? Because Stephen watched it. Okay, and he's like, yeah, it's, it takes place in Seattle. Okay. It's a like hipster. Okay, sure. Thing. Whatever. So they're just taking the the concept of. Uh, of uh, Death Note, the the anime, the manga, and the movie, and they're just putting an American spin on it. We've so you're talking about so, so it's like Godzilla. Yes. So would you call when they with, with what, Godzilla 2000? Yeah. Would, with would you, Ferris Bueller. Did Ferris Bueller? Would you call that whitewashing? I just call that the American version. Do we call the Bollywood versions of movies? Is that Indian washing or something? We like, can't no. say that. Well, you can't. You, Bollywood well, Corey and I can't say that. Hey, let's move forward. No, that's, <laughs> that, that's just offensive. <laughs> if you think that's can we point? Can we, can we just point something out for a second? That right. every time you have a negative comment about something, we always go, "Did you play it or did you watch it?" Like, no, I'm not gonna watch that. I'm not gonna play that. Well, but no, you have, like, you don't need to. Well, for this in this instance, 
Um, you and didn't this need to, I think you do need to watch it to get a to feel see for if, it. To see if it's whitewashed? I kind of think so. When you there's already an original movie out there. So, like, you can literally go and watch a movie called Death Note that's all Japanese characters. Is it yeah. the same? Okay, it so. It's the exact same story. Actually, it's more close to the storyline than uh, the original material than uh, the U.S. one is. Uh, even from telling from the trailer. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me at all. So then it's not really whitewashing is taking traditional Asian characters and putting white people in their their role, right? So if there was no other material before, then I'd be like, okay, yeah, that's whitewashing. Like there was never a Japanese movie for Death Note. They just decided we have this this manga that we like and we're going to make it into a movie, but we're going to switch all the characters to white people. To me that's whitewashing. But if it's done already, it's been done multiple times, and they have that material out there, this is the Death Note movie. You can be like, this is Death Note America. Okay. I, I understand what you're saying. I don't think I agree with it. Well, but I understand what you're saying. So that's that's the way I look at it. Like, So if, is, if people like, in Japan wanted to remake Boys in the Hood, yeah, you, you'd you be okay if they didn't hire any black actors? That's fine. This is a Japanese version of Boys in the Hood. So if they did Boys in the Hood and it was set in uh, Okinawa. I feel like. And they call it Boys in the Hood and everything? Yeah. Why not? I don't know. It's in Okinawa. I'm just asking questions. Well, at least I don't consistent. care. I really That's... don't care one way yeah, or the yeah, other. Yeah, because it wouldn't matter because like, it's in a different part of the world. Is the In Death Note, is the main character the same name? Or does he have a new name? No, I think they name him the same, the same names. The name names. I would say, um, like. Because do you think they're imitating them? Because the oh, characters, I don't know. I mean, the characters act differently. To me, if if I wanted, if I was the writer or director or whatever of the Death Note on Netflix, I would maybe change, keep the story essentially the same, but change like the main character's name or change like some of the characters' names. That way, it's like it's a retelling of the story, and you avoid the whitewashing thing. It's like, no, it's not. this isn't the same character that you see in the anime. This is a different character doing his own story. So you, you know what I mean? You, you say do a, a change it a la um, Battle Royale to Hunger Games. Because Battle Royale was a Japanese um, uh, manga and movie about kids fighting each other to the death in a big arena and then you have hunger games which is very similar but they of course changed a lot yeah so that's not whitewashing right i wouldn't say it's whitewashing no just no they they changed enough the story is different i don't know because it's not i don't know it's not just like kids because they're punks being sent on an island to kill each other it's yeah well they they weren't just punks they were a lot of innocent a lot of innocent people died on that it was a Whole but it was thing. it was yeah. to keep kids in their place though. So like to get back, if it was in Japan, you know, it's in Tokyo. It's called Boys in the Hood, uh, and they were doing things that I guess traditional gang members in Japan do. But the story was the same. But it just looked like these are Japanese gang members as opposed to them trying to dress like they're from LA or something like that. Then yeah, okay, that's the Japanese boys in the hood, whatever. Yeah. So they use samurai swords instead of guns. I don't know if they do that. That sounds racist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think that's, yeah. uh, that's but not like, modern Japan. There's, yeah, there's gang <laughs> not, members. You know, there's gang members never, all over I've the world, never been. right? <laughs> there's gang members all over the world, right? And I'm pretty sure they've had plenty of stories told. So if it was about, a y- yakuza story, if they had it like yakuza over there or or whatever the gangs look like in Japan, but they just had the same type of story of a. You know, kind of a straight laced kid that's around this dangerous neighborhood, and they called it Boys in the Hood. Why would it? Why would I think that's bad? You're just telling a story from a different perspective uh, across the world. All right, that's how I see it. Whitewashing is definitely a thing. Like, uh, what's the movie with Scarlett Johansson? Ghost in the Machine, right? Ghost in the Shell. No, Ghost in the Shell. There you Ghost go. in the Machine. Ghost in the. <laughs> that's in Japan. Yeah. All right. And there's a white woman just yeah. like there. I haven't seen it. Yeah, okay, but that's what I'm saying. So that that's that's white. Have you seen Ghost in the Shell movie? Not the live action. <laughs> no, movie, you no. didn't. Okay, just no. Just wanted to check. But you can check. I mean, look at the <laughs> look at the the whole thing. The Aaron, whole trailer. Do you, do you understand how much credibility you would have if you actually watched the things you critique? 
You'd be a dangerous person. You would be. But I oh think. I think the you credible should. Hulk over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was Damn. Good. But I think. <laughs> that's Damn. Damn. It's the so joke <laughs> of the day is brought to you by David Ng, Everybody. It's so easy to to see these things. Like you don't even have to watch certain things to be like. You can tell that's. I didn't have to watch. Um, Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z to tell it was bad. I didn't have to watch freaking. But I did. Um, <laughs> Suicide Squad. <laughs> Suicide Squad. To but sit you, in that theater and be like, "This is horrendous." You do kind of in a way. How you have to see how bad it was with your own eyes. Sometimes. Yes. No, because especially when you've watched a lot of different movies from it's, good to bad. Maybe maybe you, this is like a crazy example of it but it's about to be i can already i know feel. But, but i'm trying to think like <laughs> when you start out i'm not trying to be racist so you know it's gonna be a racist comment like yeah. uh, like that's like saying like you, like, 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 like you gotta get like, shot to know how it feels yeah exactly no you, if, no. So, if you know no, someone you who, can look at that and be like i don't want that if, i don't want to get shot if david lifts up his shirt and he has bullet wounds and he tries to tell you how much it hurts to get shot as opposed to you telling me i can i can, how tell, much it hurts I, to get I can shot? tell you i can tell you i'd be like david that looked like that hurt. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> but you'll never know. I can't imagine but, how painful that but is because I've never been shot. But, but I know that hurt. But you can't start a podcast about no. the pains of getting shot if you've never been shot. I, I, do I start podcasts? Well, on this he day? ends them. I just, I, <laughs> I, just, I just stay what it is. And then it's usually right like literally more times than not well wait, it's d- right define right it, like, because by like, most people like agree with you saying like that, that makes would you say right. it's low-hanging fruit it's easy stuff but other people don't seem to see because i understand you want to give certain things a chance movies you should have you should watch things before you critique them i don't critique everything that i don't watch but i'm not Just gonna most of them I'm I, not don't, gonna watch. I don't always critique things but when i do it's on this show you're see. batting a thousand of talking shit about things you've never tried but am i batting a thousand <laughs> and being right about them no. bad about them? Uh, what, bad thing? 500. what bad thing destiny 2 you're way off i played bad. destiny though but so it's not like I I sit and played hours of it, but I did play the game. After, yeah, after, so after the show, after the I show, play, played, play Destiny Two. Something that I have not watched or not played and been wrong about it. I don't know. I can't go through. You got those Logan. Things. You got those. Oh, Logan, one hundred percent. No, I watched it. You I saw went the movie? and watched it, and Wait. I still feel the exact same way. But you watched but, the movie? Yeah, I told you I was going to watch it. You, oh, I'm just said, happy you watched it. You when it said came the out, comments before you watched it, so the example still stands. But I was not wrong. Irrelevant. Yes, well, no, Regardless. Now we're getting into preconceived notions. Whatever. Yeah. You already, no, semantics. Right. You already talked yourself into no, it's your okay, opinion. guys. I understand. And the hardest no, thing is to admit can, you're I wrong. Because no, I can be open about things, even when I'm wrong That's, about stuff. Well, I don't know. Admit. Okay. I'm, what's the last thing you're chat. wrong about? Uh... Mass Effect Three, our Mass Effect and drama. No, that's that's the biggest thing. But besides that, <laughs> that was the that was the that's the only thing you haven't been able thing. to talk your way out of. No, I didn't talk my way out of it. I said I was wrong. That game is bad. <laughs> like what else? And I played give, it. Give me I another example. It. Another example. There's not another one. To draw on <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right, so DJ Khaled. I'm sorry. That's another one. My fault that there's not too many. Name another thing you were wrong, wrong about. Um, I'm wrong all the damn time. Yeah, you that's could, fine. You could you. I know you are too. I'm. I don't know. I, I can't. Uh, off the top of the head. Chat. Go ahead and uh, hit us with that next Twitter. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, let us Hashtag know. what Aaron is wrong about. Dig into Aaron's tweets. Yeah. Go. Go through about. it. Actually, you probably won't find it. You could go through all your tweets in probably five minutes. Yeah. 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 There's yeah. like ten of them. You, you should just go through the old past shows. Yeah. Go watch. And uh, where one. can you see all our past shows at? BGBstudios.com. <laughs> All okay. you nailed it. Uh, that music, of course, is the end of the show. Everybody, thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you for coming out on twitch.tv slash underscore video game bang. That's wrong. Yeah, that, there you that's go. Correct. You got it. Hang oh, on. Man. Slash Come video on. game underscore bang. If you're not, you are missing uh, like half the show. You guys should come out. Uh, for those of you who are streaming, I'm a mute Aaron. For those of you who are streaming, uh, you guys stick around. <laughs> we are going to keep doing the after show and talking about how wrong Aaron is. Uh, make sure to give us a like and a uh, five star review on iTunes and Google Play. Uh, that really does help us. And um, I'm trying to think of anything There's that's coming up. Do you have anything coming up? Gondo, when are you going to be back? I don't know. Whenever you guys invite me. <laughs> I don't know. Never. You guys suck. 
Not my words. Right, trying to <laughs> stress, elongate this, but it's not working. Uh, all right, everybody, it, for uh, Corey Vincent, Sir Aaron Carter, and Gondo, I am the real David Webb saying... We'll yeah. fix it in post. Yeah. We'll God fix damn. it in post. We'll fix it in post. <laughs>